Hello. We are going to do number four on the Hardy Weinberg genetics worksheet. So, this one was probably had about moderate difficulty. Um, as I was walking around, some students were missing um, A the most. A seemed to stump a few people. So, let's go over this. So, it says. On an isolated Pacific Ocean island, there exists a recessive allele for psychic ability. This enabled the lucky natives to complete uh, witch doctor school. This recessive allele was found in the population of 2,000 natives at a frequency of 10%. So the frequency, that's the most important uh, part of information we can start with. So. Uh, we're given that frequency. The first thing we need to do is uh, find out um, what that is. So we have the Hardy-Weinberg equation. And actually, let me write that here. The Hardy-Weinberg equation is P squared plus 2PQ plus Q squared. And that is always going to be equal to 1. So we need to see um, where point 1 fits. Um, so uh, we have, and I wrote them all up here, uh, P is going to be the frequency of the dominant allele. Q is the frequency of the recessive allele. And these will always be different than these values. So in P squared, that is going to be the frequency of a homozygous recessive, which is big A, big A. Q is going to be little a, little a. And 2PQ is the frequency of heterozygous, or big A, little a. So um, this right here, the recessive allele, was found in the population at a frequency of 10%. So that is going to tell you that Q is going to equal, let me double check, Q is going to equal 0 0.1. Okay. So uh, another piece of information that's really important here is that let me write this off to the side. P plus Q will also always equal 1. So what we can do if we have Q, we can put that into the equation here. So 0.1 equals 1. P plus 0.1 equals 1. So you can subtract 0.1 on both sides to get P by itself. And you get P equals 0.9. Okay, so now we have two pieces of information. So now what we can do is we can plug, we have Q, we have P, we can plug that into the equation. And that's going to look like this. Times 0.1 plus 0.1 squared. Okay, let me get rid of this for you. Okay. And all that, this is going to equal 1. Okay. Okay. So now, uh, once you, you can uh, put this into your calculator, so 0.9 squared is going to be 0 0.81. And then 2 times 0 0.9 uh, times 0 0.1, that will be 0 0.18. And then plus uh, 0 0.1 squared is going to be 0 0.1. And uh, you can check your work because all of this added up should equal 1, and it does. So now we have this value, 0.18. That's going to equal uh, p squared. We look at p squared, and uh, that number is going to be the frequency of big A, big A. So we can take p squared here, and we can multiply this by any population size to figure out how many individuals of a population are homozygous dominant. Okay. However, that's not what they're asking. It says, how many witch doctors are there on the island? So in order to be a witch doctor, you need to have both recessive alleles, little a, little a. So we want the value of Q squared. That will be this value right here. So we want Q squared. So we need to take 2,000 natives multiply it by q squared, which is 0 0.01, and that's going to give you 20 natives. So that's going to be 20. Now it says, what proportion of the population would be hybrid? So 
that is just going to be 0.18. That's the proportion. That's the frequency of big A little a. So we just ha we have that. We uh, get that right from the equation. The proportion that would be hybrid. So no matter what size the population is, we could multiply it by 0.18 to figure out how many uh, natives will uh, be hybrids, have both alleles. And that's it.